I should probably not be walking in the middle of a railroad. Welcome back to Shin Leisure, coming to you for another dreary day in Madrid, Spain. But more than that, we're outside the National Rail Museum, and that is the topic of today. So get ready, here we go. There's a street right here, so yep. This was passenger and service, but has a very subtle lemon to a tow chest, so along with that, as well as long as like closing, um, was now known. So along with closing, what is now, you know, as Principio uh, Estación de Norte, they basically from Codosay with Renfe that the only two stations, the central stations, would be Chamartín for, you know, uh, points international into the west, and then Atocha would be through service to between the north and the south, like Barcelona and Valencia. This one here reminds me of per seats called the Cardenita dates back to 1862. It says here, on here, that um, the first ones were made by the British. Yeah, the classic cars, you know, they're green, but they do remind me of, this is Bruno reminds me of Thompson's cars. And obviously, uh, mentioned in the uh, video on the ghost station, at Parquet Warren, we sort of checked that out. Then please have this blue and gold scheme. The restaurant car in the back and it says Nacional de Wagons There's a luggage card here Get a nice peek into each kind of the rows, kind of like we see in like Harry Potter films when they're on the Hogwarts Express Okay, there's these steps here but they don't go onto the trains Is it special times of the year when they're open? Map, I don't know. It's very probably silverware. These high up pictures, I know, like in the states, would be like a lot, lot longer, but they feel a lot like this. Remember that from when I were Thomas when I was a kid, you know. Look at a lot of green cars up ahead. Just, you know, I've never heard of that in that story. So it basically sounds like that basically when Renfei took over all rail operations in the country, they basically just didn't care about the colors, just kept them for their regions, I guess, like until they adopted the red and gray scheme that they use today. That's what it sounds like to me, but um... This kind of looks like a, like a classic diner car right here. It's yellow and silver car. There's like... People can like... You have, like the drivers and stuff, they can be in there. Kitchen, steering, all of that. So it looks like they operate a kitty train on Saturdays. And speaking of kitties, there's also a crane car right there. And if you remember which one has a crane on it. In a thousand friends universe, drop in the comments.
think I've at least seen these in action. Maybe I've done it when I was very little. I don't remember. This actual one so actually appeared in a, in a movie of Steven Spielberg, which is... Looks like they have a model in here. Okay, the life is now. Well, now I'm up there with... Looks like the carriages that be on the New York skyline, skyline, uh, skyride thing. That looks like the shed right there. Little car right there. And it looks like this stage of the video seems to shut down for various films. Uh, since, but um, also, even during its life, uh, Doctor's Big, I've heard about that because there's a trolley in Pinot de Charmatine that was used in that film. Here is the mob train station that we're in right now. It has an island platform, two tracks on either side that come to a head here. So this is kind of like a model, like the work that they do. You know, working on track. Maybe this is like inside tunnels were like inside. But like, you know, because it looks like the outside. I don't know, but I did get yeah, music there from like a little video from Adif who owns Renfe. It's like, there's like one Adif train I saw him there. So I'm like, not sure where that falls. So Another control panel from Pusella. An old phone and cables. This looks like an electrical plant by station. I see it's electrified and need that. I think I've shown previously how good these signs are. Travel, so. Real tunnel, a viaduct, and you skip like the curve, like me, like on the edge of the mountain, so it kind of needs something. Pull that up and all. Now, uh, I'm a, this shows the entire network. Not all high speed. There is like a high speed segment in Galicia. And then obviously, it like, goes to Validad and Tamora, Salamanca. Not so much in Extremadura, but south. Through La Mancha into Andalusia. And obviously, we are done Saragossa. To Barcelona at this time, my recording. I didn't really realize how mountainous the uh, Spain was. The thing that shows all the lines from just after World War II, the really Nazi connections and two. Portugal, in the south of France. Uh, one best part of Montpellier in this case. And that today is line three. 
a bit, but it does extend 93 straight itself and 3a now today, but um, I think 3a continues all the way to Escorial, which you cannot see this map, but since Sebastian de los Reyes is where 4, line 4 goes, I think 3 even goes to Las Rosas right there. I think also 8 goes there. Design, as we see, I can say I have the Appenskio Pio for Western Point, and there's Eastern Point to Saragossa and Barcelona. Also out of Atocha, it looks like. I think it even looks like that are connected in the middle. Probably more like the passing services. Uh, 90, they're smaller. I guess near the Jesus Arganda del Rey. And the Goya one out there. Oh, there's like early Cercanias. There's another line that extended from Parla down to Toledo, but I don't think, but I think the line ends at Parla now. And then you have the lower one for Olivia, Valhut, Nirun, and Norland for Segovia, and that. Let's see the Lysias there. It was uh, it's only 1900, but uh, you see the least in action, but uh, not Tremetini. I think that was the, that's coming up though. Ganas from Brelda, that goes to, and that's the gate to Portugal. Now in 1937, this is just before the Spanish Revolution, so more. Sh Smaller routes off the side. Line 9 is now. I'm guessing that's part of became line 4 from Food Canal up to Poma Viejo. The international routes still feel the same, although I'm guessing one from Felicius, Carmento, Leganes. It's linked to Portugal, so there's another, another connection in the south of Portugal. Here is a poster of the evolution of Atocha. Looks like they were rebuilding in 1891 to what it looks like today. Because that looks pretty much like what it does today. As well as just the hall, like where people wait. And like the main entrance, unlike where the trains actually came in, like back in the day. More or less. And yeah, I believe that used to be the platform, but now. That's just the lobby. And the Cercanias and National Roots are separate. And look, here's a little model of a Atocha as it did back in the day. It had six platforms in the middle there. Looks like we're close in Charentine now. I know that is Cercanias link now. Uh, Butaro he goes up north to Bergos. It was really interesting that like shocks things or like uh, placement things are in here, but um, this is actually 1992. And at least this was closed. But then they're still showing it. And also regional routes, there's 1989, was used to see in the middle, but then they flipped it, and it's now it's on now on angle, which is interesting. Here's what the map looks like today. I believe the red is still what we would use for the bullet trains. Could be wrong. Here's a look at all the rolling stock over the years. Four modern ones right there for regional and the bullet trains. The blue color scheme that we saw. They're on, like, go back and get a good look for that before we go. But, uh, yeah, that's a map of the metro. 
and it shows it back on the books here. Yeah, I think that is up to date. Although it will soon be out there when 3 is extended to El Cesar at line 12 and line 11 will be extended from Plaza de Pica through Atocha into Con de Casal. And also you have the uh, Largo lines over there and off Pinar. And you even get the little smaller maps. It's the original network. Cuatro Caminos, Rios Rosas, Iglesia. Although you can see the old names like uh, Spiro de Arga, Parakita, Chambre, Belbao, Trinata, Hospicio, Grande Utuas, Red de San Luis, and Sol being part of the Del Sol. But it was called the Sol, so. I think the second one, 1925, I think that shows line two not quite hitting Cuatro Caminos. That was done by 1929, as well as the Ramal. 45, that still shows it when line two had a branch, which is now line four from Goya to Diego uh, de Leon. In 54, I don't think they started line six. Yeah, but line four had to let you to go over Diego de Leon. Three and four terminate at Arguez. At the bottom there, through the Suburbano, second of 1969, which is line 10 from Plaza de España. It actually went for a while, they 5 and 10 swapped at Alute, and that was until line 12 opened when they now go to their current short terminus of Casa de Campo, and actually somewhere I went down to Cabrac now. I think that's the old trolley map from back in the day. This train right actually reminded me of the lead train from Trucking Tank. They see into the uh, engine room right here. That probably wasn't the case back in the day. It looks like we can actually uh, climb aboard the train. Looks like a bedroom or maybe they're using it for storage in this case. This is probably over the boat wheels or something. Beds, more storage. Okay, I'm guessing the passenger cars are closed off right now. I could probably open them, but... Yeah, it locked. Coach, okay, the dock door's open, but I'm not sure about the other door. If these are facing forward, like an airplane, and these are sideways for more local service, I guess. Oh, it kind of looks like it bows out in the back. Like a boat. On oh, two love seats, technically not love seat, but um, if you're sure it's facing out, you know, you get what I mean. Ryan Cleveland sponsors their own soccer club. So there you have it. It's a museum. Game wearing on the train, mass transit vibe, you know, of late. So why not? It fits. Post that actually is because right now spring has just started. So it might be July or August during the final season to be on the board with those drops. Yeah, I got two books based off the stuff that we've seen. Uh, one for the anniversary of the station and one for anniversary of rail in Madrid. And I also got a second copy of the 175 years of rail. Kind of want to give that to class rail or one of the other Philly area transit people. Further ado, comment, like, subscribe, strike the bell. Buenas noches, buena suerte, hasta luego.